Let's talk about 10 things to do when you have too much time on your hands. Sharon Hornell's from here. Sometimes I have a lot of time on my hands. Today, our idiom, our expression for supersize your business is too much time on your hands. Now, I have yet to meet someone who is building their business and supersizing their business and growing their business that ever tells me that they have too much time on their hands and they don't know what to do with it. But that's what our expression, our idiom means today. It means you have extra time available and you're not sure exactly what to do with it. This idiom, this expression is from the late 17th century. And in 1703, it was used by George Farquhar in his play, The Inconstant. I'm not familiar with that work of art. It's way before my time. But it means that you've got spare time and nothing that you have to do during that time. So what are 10 things to do when you don't really have anything that you have to do? Uh, I found a list of 10 on the internet and I started arguing with the list because that's what I do when I find lists of things. And I'm like, well, geez, I can think of a lot of different things that I would do besides these 10. But I'll share those 10 and I'll, uh, I'll editorialize along the way. The first one was to take up painting. I say take up some kind of a hobby or an activity that's new to you, stretches your comfort zone, or allows you to explore something that you've always been interested in, but you really haven't had the time or energy available to do that. That's what I did when I came from the offline world to the online world in 2017. I'd always been curious about the online internet world, but I'd never really had the time or energy running my other businesses to explore it. So in 2017, I was afforded the opportunity to do that, and I jumped right in to stretch my comfort zone and learn something new. Uh, number two, we could start a TV show or a podcast. Podcasts are all the rage right now. You could start a video channel, a TV show on YouTube or another platform specific to your area of interest or expertise. Share what you know. Number three, volunteer your time. Volunteer at a cause or an organization that is important to you, that means something to you. Maybe you're a big brother or big sister. Maybe you volunteer to help hospice patients. My son does that. Maybe you volunteer to help with Meals on Wheels or something, or whatever at an animal shelter, whatever is of interest to you. Volunteer your time and energy to help other people or other beings out on the planet. Number four, go to the gym. Go get some exercise. Join a gym if you don't belong to one. Number five, Make meals for the week ahead. Meal prep. Meal prepping is a great way to spend extra time and to save time later on in the week for when you do have not, not enough time on your hands. Number six, go hiking. I say go outdoors. Get outside. Get some fresh air. Go do something active. Go explore. Go on an adventure. Go to the beach. Go to the the river, go to the mountains, go to the hills, go to the plains, go to whatever is in your area that you haven't had an opportunity to explore before. Uh, number seven, fill out your calendar. Look at your calendar and your schedule and see where you've got blocks of time where you can plan out how you want to spend that time. Number eight, treat yourself to something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe you go to a movie. Maybe you go have a nice meal. Maybe you go shopping and buy yourself something that you've wanted for a long time. But treat yourself to something. Maybe you treat yourself to caramels, sea salt caramels, or ice cream cones, whatever works for you. Number nine, organize your space. Take an opportunity to organize or reorganize. Clean out your closet. Clean out those miscellaneous drawers that we all have in our house, but we hate to admit that have accumulated stuff and clean one of those out. Can always, 10, take a nap. Now, I'm not a big napper, although I'm feeling under the weather today, so I might actually take a nap. But I would add to the list Learn something new, read, listen to a podcast, listen to a radio show of, of a topic that you're interested in, learn something new, explore, um, get out of your comfort zone and stretch that. Find some way to always be using your time to become a better person, to make you a better person. So do we really ever have too much time on our hands? I don't think so, not if we're using it wisely. Share in the comments below what you do when you're not committed or you don't have to do anything. Uh, with respect to growing and building our business, what are the things that you like to do when you have available time? That's it. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another time-related idiom for just a couple more days, and then we're going to switch to money idioms for the month of November. All right. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, that is our idiom today. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life and maybe even in your business today? Have a great day.